Hey guys, what's shaking? Well, the scriptures are speaking big time. I started using this little trick um, where I take the date of that day and go through each book and look at that particular scripture that pertains to that. So today's 315, March 15th. So I go through each book and look at chapter 3, verse 15 and see what it says. And what I'm starting to find is that um, some of these scriptures, not all, but some of them, are speaking about things that are happening this very day. Um, yesterday and in my last video that I'm uploading now, I put in there about, um, which was 314, I found in Deuteronomy 314, it talked about, um, what was the name? Jael, J Jael, J Jair, J-A-I-R, Jair. He uh, had received um, a portion of the land of Israel, um, and the the names that it gave. I looked up the names, and it's modern day Golan Heights. And yesterday, Trump declared, and several other officials declared that that's that's Israeli sovereign territory. Uh, so it's really kind of ironic to see that passage in there, and then the very thing happened today. So it's kind of cool to look through the scriptures and see just how alive they are and how God put them together and made them so they would apply to everything that's happening to us today. It's For anyone to go into the scriptures and say, oh no, it doesn't pertain to anything going on today, is ludicrous. There's just no way you can say that honestly and with a, with a clear conscience because over and over and over I find scriptures that speak to things happening directly in front of us and in this very day. Um, that's not even counting prophecy. Uh, that's just counting general scriptures. Um, so it's pretty cool, and it's a neat little trick. If you have time, you can sit down. Uh, I highly recommend you get a Bible app, uh, download one. Um, that way you can, like Bible Gateway, that way you, no, no sponsorship, no sponsorship. That way you can go through there, and you can just click real quickly through and find each of those scriptures and look at them. Then you go to your hard Bible, and, your, um, and you look at the scriptures in context on there. But it's really cool to see how this stuff, how it speaks and how it talks and how it shows. It's awesome. So this video is going to be Romans 10. And it's a reading and a discussion. I'm just sort of run through real quick. Uh, my last video was a reading and discussion also. And I'm not picking these out. These are scriptures that are jumping out. And I'm like, okay, well, we need to talk about that one. So, And it always seems like it applies to anything we're going through right now currently. So, we're going to do Romans 10. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they may be saved. For I bear them witness that they have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness and seeking to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted to the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. For Moses writes about the righteousness which is of the law, the man who does those things shall live by them. But the righteousness of faith speaks in this way. Do not say in your heart, who will ascend into heaven, that is, to bring Christ down from above, or who will descend into the abyss, that is, to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart, that is, the word of faith which we preach. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So what what did that saying there? Well, if you're telling people they're going to go to hell, well, you're going against the scriptures. You're wrong. If you're telling people they're going to go to heaven, you, you, you're going against the scriptures. None of us are the judge. None of us make that determination. We believe in Jesus Christ, we confess his name, and we believe it truthfully in our hearts. And that's between us and him. No other man on this planet has any right or any authority to tell somebody, well, you're going to hell because of the way you believe. That is incorrect. Totally wrong. So when you hear somebody say that, correct them. Because as brethren, we can correct each other with the scriptures. Because nowhere in the scripture does it say, Joe, Joe, Joe Cephas walking down the street in Oklahoma City can go through there and tell everybody in, in the, in the, on the street he lives on they're going to hell. He doesn't have that right. None of us have that right. All right, we're in Romans 10, 11. For the scripture says, whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek or Gentile. 
For the same Lord over all is rich to all who call upon him. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace, who bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our report? So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, indeed. Their sound has gone out to all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. But I say, did Israel not know? First Moses says, I will provoke you to jealousy by those who are not a nation. I will move you to anger by a foolish nation. But Isaiah is very bold and says, I was found by those who did not seek me. I was made manifest to those who did not ask for me. But to Israel, he says, all day long I have stretched out my hands to a disobedient and contrary people. So, this is talking about, and and what's great about that particular chapter is that it refers back to Moses and to Isaiah, to other scriptures. But it talks about giving the word, yet people denying the word. Or people saying they've received it, yet they do exactly the opposite of what they were told to do and what they were uh, given from the, from the Word. This directly applies to what we're dealing with nowadays. There are people out there saying, this is the Word I've been given by God, and what they say does not match the Scriptures. Turn away from those people. Don't believe that Scripture. Now, do you hate on those people? Absolutely not. Because they may actually be a brother in Christ. They may be saved. But... It's not right for us to hate or hate on them, but we can correct them, or as the Bible says, reprove them with the scriptures. We do it in gentleness and in humbleness and in meekness, just like Jesus was. And we be kind and show love to them. Now, they can turn away from that if they want to and deny it, which many do. I've had several, many discussions on here already with people who throw these scriptures out. Uh, one lady told me that I'd better put respect on... Uh, the name of Yeshua, because that's his name. You're right. Um, but his name is Jesus, too, because Yeshua is the Hebrew of Jesus. And I corrected her with that, and I showed her the scriptures. And uh, she turned away and unsubscribed and went on about her business. Well, that's fine. That's your choice to do that. But the fact of the matter is, just to sit there and to browbeat one of your brothers or sisters in Christ about something minor... And then you're not even correct on it in the first place, is uh, is is wrong, and you don't do that kind of stuff. So, what these what this scripture particularly, and what other scriptures like it are saying, is don't bother trying to look at other people and dictate whether they're going to heaven or hell. Look at yourself, judge yourself, because we have no right to judge anyone else. We can judge us. Judge yourself and see if your walk is right. See if your doing what the Bible says. See if you're doing what the Word of God says, or if you're obeying the commandment He gave you to street preach, or online preach, or uh, preach at your job, or spread the gospel, or be a prayer warrior. Some people aren't good preachers, but they're fabulous prayer warriors. Um, each person is different as they can handle. I've, I've said that before in my videos, and given the scriptures for it. So, being judgmental, it goes directly against the Word of God. Our salvation and our relationship and how we walk with Him is part of the Word of God. And that's all we need to worry about as individuals. Focus on Him. Focus on making sure we are doing what He wants us to do. If you do that and you focus on getting yourself correct, everything else falls into place concerning everyone else around you. And you find that your relationship with the people around you is a lot better. Because it's an easy thing for humans to judge and people love to do that. So... Don't be too quick to judge another person and say, oh, you know what, you said that, you're going to hell. Uh, that's really not right. That's not a good thing to do. Because the Lord's going to hold that against you at the judgment seat. So why did you tell them they were going to hell? You're not the judge. So It's all throughout the scriptures, guys. Get into your scriptures. Read your scriptures. Do the Google trick like I've been telling you guys to do. Bible verses about whatever you're looking for. And you'll look, find those, and you can look at and see all of the scriptures. And then sit down with your Bible and take each one 
and go through each one and read them in context. And it literally just opens everything up. Your understanding opens up so much better. And uh, and if you got time and you want to play around with it, use the date. Use use the date and go through and look at the dates, because that really opens the scriptures up. Because it, it usually uh, there will be several of them that will apply to whatever's happening that day or something that's happened. Or if you find one and it's like hmm that could be something, you can Google that event and see if it happened somewhere in the world. Usually it'll pop up by the end of the day. So it's pretty cool to see those things. So I love you guys. I always always love you guys. Uh, thank you all for subscribing. Thank you for, as you, if you were an old subscriber, you stayed. Thank you for watching the videos. Um, I get nothing from these videos. They're all set as nonprofit uh, because it's not about me at all. I don't put my name out there. It's not about me at all. This is all about building up and preaching the kingdom of Jesus Christ and the kingdom of our Holy Father. As I just happen to be because I can't, I don't have an editing program, so I have to put my face on here. Otherwise, I wouldn't even put my face on here. But it's all about the scripture. And I challenge you, if you think I've said something in error, by all means, email me and we will discuss it. And we can talk scriptures about that. Um, but I put a video up about the hateful stuff. A lot of you guys are going out there and y'all are throwing all kinds of hateful comments out to other people who are preaching the word. You have a reward waiting for you if you do that. So I will never email somebody or, or say something to somebody that's uh, degrading or derogatory concerning their walk in the faith or their scriptures. But if you're one of those people that is doing that and you think you're justified, you need to get into the Bible. You need to read, it, read about that because you're not. And the Bible is very clear about people that do those things. But if you want to talk and you want to have a debate about this, great. Email me immediately and let's discuss it. And uh, because it's really cool for us to go back and forth and, and talk and reason out the scriptures because that helps us, helps our understanding together on that stuff. So I love you guys. In Jesus' name, be blessed, and I'll see you on the next video or in the clouds, depending on what happens first.